Who doesn't love an ooey gooey grilled cheese sandwich? I know I sure do. Here I'll be showing you how to make a zero calorie grilled cheese made out of polymer clay. In this tutorial, I'll be using a mold to create slices of bread. There will be a link in the description box to where you can purchase this mold in my shop, or you can just cut and texture squares of clay. I prefer the mold just because all of the pieces come out in a uniform fashion. I'm using female vanilla clay, but you can use any light tan color of clay. Use a mixture of light tan and yellow chalk pastels to dust on the bread to make it look buttery. Now a flat brush will work well to carefully add some brown chalk pastels to the crust. By now you should have some more realistic looking slices of bread. Use the dull edge of a blade to add grill marks diagonally across both pieces. Now cut the slices in half perpendicular to the grill lines. Use a needle tool to add texture to the inside of the bread. Take your time and go in circles, picking apart the clay and making it a little crumbly. I prefer using a tiny brush to add tan and brown chalk pastels to the grill lines to make it look cooked. To make the cheese, take some light orange clay and add liquid clay such as translucent liquid Sculpey or Fimo Deco Gel. Mix it around to make a cheesy consistency. It may take a while to make sure all the little clumps are made smooth. I prefer to bake these pieces for just a few minutes so that when I assemble the sandwich, the bread won't lose its texture. After that, match up two slices that are similar in size. I'm adding a dot of solid clay so the head pin has something to stick into. It's time for the fun part, adding the cheese. 
Don't be afraid to add a little too much because it looks even more realistic if a little is oozing out of the edges. Do this to make both halves and bake. If you're adding a head pin, bend it into a loop to make a charm, or you could have added an eye pin to the bread before baking. You can glaze over the entire piece, adding extra coats to the cheese to make it shiny, and then you're done. You now have made some delightfully delicious miniature grilled cheese sandwiches that can be added to a necklace, keychain, or even just kept by themselves.